Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Danielle and in this one, we're gonna be going through the meal planning process and we're also going to be going grocery shopping. So it is a meal plan and grocery shop with me video. I hope you guys are interested in that. And if you are, then just stay tuned. So of course we're gonna be shopping my fridge and pantry and that is definitely what I would recommend you do before you actually decide what to cook for the week and before you go grocery shopping before you even start the meal planning process just kind of jot down all the things that you already have in your pantry and your fridge and then that way you can build your meals around those things that you have on hand already as opposed to going grocery shopping and buying a whole first of all buying things twice because that happens to me quite a bit <laughs> especially with like spices and condiments i'll end up with like three bottles of ranch dressing and like five jars of peanut butter if i don't go in there and just check and see what i have first so we're definitely going to be doing that we're also going to be figuring out some meal inspiration and if you guys have seen any of my meal planning videos before you know i love to use pinterest for this it's just the easiest way because it's a search engine just like youtube is you type in what you want and it takes you directly there so it's the easiest way to kind of type in the ingredients that you have or type in a particular food that you want to eat like soup or chicken soup or whatever you can be as specific or as vague as you want to be and you can still get a slew of results so i love pinterest i create boards on there all the time to kind of categorize different food items and go back to it and see what's there and then one more thing I want to show you guys is that once I decide what I want to cook for the week, I'll write down or list all of those um, meals in my notes app on my phone. And then that way I have them all right in front of me and I kind of just check them off as I cook them throughout the week. So that's a really good way to kind of know what ingredients you have left too because if I planned to make, let's, let me just tell you guys what's on my list from last week, that's the easiest way. So I plan to make shredded barbecue chicken and we were gonna have that with either rice or potatoes and obviously a vegetable. Um, I was gonna make French onion chicken and then I was also going to be making sausage, potato, and veggie frittata, Greek chicken bowls, and cauliflower wings, which I did make, so I'm gonna go ahead and check those off as well. But um, yeah, so if I'm looking at this list and I see that these things aren't checked off, I know that I have the ingredients for those. So that's four meals that we can eat this week that I already have the ingredients for and I don't have to go out and buy anything to be able to make those. So that's a really good way to kind of, you know, stay on top of what's in your pantry too. And if you don't know, I'm an Instacart lover. <laughs> so I use the Instacart app almost every day. Either the app or the website, I kind of go back and forth between the two. So I'm always using it to build my list throughout the week as we run out of things or as I like, it pops in my head, oh, you need this, you need that. I just add it to my Instacart app and my list is always there for me. And all I have to do when I sit down to do this meal planning process is add the extra things that I need to complete those meals. So yes, I love the Instacart app. I'm either using it as a list building tool or I'm using it to actually do my grocery shopping so in the warmer months i don't really mind going to the grocery store to get my own food but once it gets cold you guys are going to see that i'm going to be ordering groceries a lot more because i just don't like to be outside in the cold it's not for me i do not like cold weather so i try to stay home as much as possible when it's cold outside so i will be ordering most of my groceries either through instacart or the target app so that my husband can do the pickup orders on his way home from work since he drives literally right by a target so if you're late to the party and you've never tried instacart definitely click the link below so you can check them out highly recommend it definitely one of my favorite services as far as like um grocery delivery goes they are my go-to because they have aldi and y'all know that's my favorite store <laughs> Uh, my other favorite store will probably be Trader Joe's, but I have to go there no matter what because there is no delivery service that will go get me groceries from Trader Joe's and bring them to me. So sad. You can either pay monthly or yearly for your membership. Right now I'm doing the monthly membership and that way when I'm not actually having groceries delivered, I can just cut it off versus paying for a full year. So I would definitely try out a monthly membership with them. See if you like it and then if you do and you feel like it's worth it, go ahead and upgrade to a one year membership. Look at this. 
both took a risk Who would've thought back then That we both end up like this Oh yeah, I ain't had a plan She said, boy, we better get to it Gonna be a long ride We gonna need more than love to get through it We gonna get through it We gonna get through it You can trust me, I'm a man, I'm a word If I say it, I'ma do it When I'm down Point me straight to it You made me love me new babe Every day you renew it Can we take a long way home There's some things I want to know A couple questions if I could Hope I'm not misunderstood On the long way home Okay, so my list is made, my meals are planned, and now it's time to go ahead and head to the grocery store. I'm gonna try to get this done as soon as possible because I don't, or as quickly as possible because I really do not feel like it, but it has to be done. So let's go ahead and get our grocery shopping done. and they were out of quite a few things so that made it a little bit difficult to get my shopping done so what I'm gonna do is go to the Amazon Amazon fresh store and get a couple of rotisserie chickens they sell them for five dollars so if you have um, and, and that's like an everyday thing it's not a special or anything so if you have an Amazon fresh store near you I would definitely recommend it because their rotisserie chickens are so good they're so tender like they have a slight charred taste to them even though they don't have any like charred color I don't know how they do it but they're good so I'm going to use it in one of the soups I'm making this week um, so stay tuned for that video which is going to be the next one that's posted after this one and then I'm going to go to Trader Joe's after the Amazon Fresh Store because I can um, get the rest of my shopping done at Trader Joe's and my husband likes their beers so any and I just love going in Trader Joe's so anytime I get an excuse to go there I'm here for it <laughs> so yep Amazon Fresh and then Trader Joe's what you see So I got all the groceries from Aldi ready to haul for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it because it's quite a bit here to go through. So I got some hamburger buns because I have some turkey burgers in the freezer that I made a couple weeks ago. So I plan on having those this week. I forgot about them <laughs> until I went through the freezer to look at what was in there. So now we need to eat them. So I got some hamburger buns. Also got some honey wheat bread. This is for the kids and my husband if he wants some. 
And then I got some spreadable butter. For me, this is way better than margarine. I just like the way it tastes. It's really, really good. So I prefer the olive oil one, but I can never find that at Aldi anymore. So I always end up just getting the canola oil. But if you can find this at your Aldi, but with olive oil, I would definitely recommend that one instead. And if you can't, then this one will do. But obviously olive oil is better for you than canola oil. And they're the same price. And then I got some peanut butter natural version that they sell at Aldi. I don't know why nothing wants to focus. Come on. Y'all know what it looks like, right? That's what it looks like. I got some jelly, some grape jelly. I do not like grape jelly. I like grape jam. Um, and I prefer it for my kids because it's less messy and it's easier to spread. And I just, I prefer to get to get the Welch's grape jam if I'm going to buy this kind. But they don't have, they don't sell that at, um, Aldi. I normally get it at Target. So I could have waited and got this um, in a Target pickup tomorrow, but I just decided to go ahead and grab it. And then I got the avocado. Let me turn this down so it might be a little bright. Avocado ranch salad kit. This is going to be for my husband for his lunch tomorrow. And I'm just going to put some like chicken tenders on top, put them in the air fryer, and then chop them up on top. And that should be perfectly fine for his lunch for tomorrow. But then after that, he's going to be taking um, warm lunches to work. I ordered him a new electric lunchbox off of Amazon. I'm going to show you guys when it comes, what it looks like and how it works. And yeah, I'll be able to like send him to, to work with normal lunches, like leftovers and stuff like that. So he won't have to eat sandwiches and like Lunchables for lunch. So I'm excited about that. I got some French vanilla coffee creamer for him. Also got some dry roasted or the honey roasted peanuts. He's been, normally he eats the almonds, but the last few weeks he's been liking the peanuts better. So got him those. And then I got this, um, some white mushrooms for my breakfast. I like to put these in like scrambles and stuff. This is so good. Um, you guys are going to see in the upcoming, in the video that actually it should be in the video that posted before this one. It was a what I eat in a week. And I made a lot of like breakfast scrambles in that video with mushrooms. So yeah, highly recommend. Um, got some half and half. I really wanted heavy cream, but they went up on the price to like $3 for like the, you know, half the size of this for heavy cream. So I was like, uh, no, thank you. This was only like a dollar and 19 cents or something. So I just went with the half and half. Yeah, it was just a better deal to get the half and half. So I did that. And then I got some mild cheddar. This is going to be for the taco spaghetti we're having this week. Also got some vanilla yogurt. You guys have seen this many times on my channel. My kids love this, especially with granola. And then there were two new items I found this week at Aldi. They were in like the get it today or here today gone tomorrow. They were marked with that little like black and white tag that, let, that lets you know that they may not come back. So they had the Italian style pork sausage and the hot pork sausage. And since I'm making a Zupa Toscana soup this week, which is like the Olive Garden um, creamy soup with potatoes, kale and sausage, I figured I would get some of this. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use in that yet, but we have options now. Also got these drinks. Um, no, they're for Oreos. No, Corey, you're not getting those snacks right now. Also got these flavor waters. This is something else that I buy every single week. Normally, I get these for my husband for his lunch, but normally I only buy the strawberry and key lime, but they were out. This was literally all they had left. I just got the last five. Um, no, they had like two more peach and that was it. So I got two of the strawberry, I got one of the key lime, and then I got one peach and one black cherry because that was literally all they had. So, also got some cilantro, which is going to be really good, um, both for the taco spaghetti and for the Southwest soup I plan to make this week. Got some cucumbers. My kids like to eat these and I'm planning on making um, Greek chicken bowls this week, so that's another way I can use the cucumbers and then I got this salted caramel cream cheese and you guys this cream cheese is so good like oh my gosh it's literally crack so good also got this whole grain granola something else that's like crack <laughs> my kids like to eat it in there um like I said with their yogurt so I like to grab one of those for the week for them to have I can just eat it plain out of the bag it's so good and then like I said, if I go to Virginia, which I did today, I can always get wines in Aldi. So this is one of our favorite ones, the Winking Isle Sangria. Come on and focus. There we go. Okay, Winking Isle Sangria. 
Um, the Sweet Red is also pretty good. Not really super um, high in alcohol. This has a 10%, okay, so this one's a bit higher, I think, than the Sweet Red. The Sweet Red might be like seven or eight percent ABV, and this one is 10. If you can see that. So yeah, I got two of those for my husband. I will not be drinking wine this week. I have not been drinking wine. I haven't been drinking lately. I'm not really a heavy drinker. So yeah. Also got two bags of nuggets. I don't know if it's just at my store or in my area, but we have been not been able to get these for about three weeks now. And I went ahead and caved in and got the Target brand chicken nuggets and Corey did, did not like them. No, 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 she did like them. I didn't like them. Um, but she loves these. So since I was able to finally find them, I went ahead and just got two bags of them. So that's that. Also got some taco seasoning because like I said, I'm making two kind of Mexican inspired dishes this week. And then I got quite a few green grapes. My kids love grapes, especially the green ones. I think the green ones taste better too, honestly. And then I got some flour. Um, we were, I'm down to like my last little bit of flour. So I just went ahead and restocked on that. And I got some sugar and I've tried. <laughs> Y'all have seen me trying to not use so much white sugar. But in my household, it doesn't work for us to not have it here. Like my husband wants normal sugar in his coffee and yeah, it just doesn't work. It's just better to keep it here, but we have really slowed down considerably on the amount that we eat. So it doesn't go as fast. Like I probably won't buy another one for another two weeks. So it's not terrible the amount that we eat considering that we're a family of six, but we, I just can't get rid of it for some reason. Um, then I got some chocolate chips in case I want to do some baking this week. I just like to have these on hand all the time. And I got some 2% milk. Also has some almond milk in the fridge already. Then over here we got some black beans. We got some chili beans. Oh, I probably should have got more than two cans of black beans if I was going to put them in the pasta. And, and I'm, I'll have to improvise. I don't know. Oh well, I'm not going back to the store. Maybe I'll do a Target pickup tomorrow. Um, and that way, no, 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 okay. I'm only putting the black beans in the taco soup, in the uh, Southwest soup, that's why. Um, I'll probably put the chili beans in the taco spaghetti if I want to add a bean to that. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, I got some Roma tomatoes and then I also got some garlic and onion powder because I'm like halfway through those and those go really fast in my house. Also got some diced tomatoes with green chilies. Perfect for both of those dishes. Something else I just like to have on hand as well. I got four cans of tomato sauce and I also got some baking powder. I'm sorry, bake, what's this called? Cocoa powder because we were we're out of this so and my kids use this whenever they eat oatmeal they like to make chocolate oatmeal the best like that's their favorite kind so this is what they we go through this kind of fast <laughs> when they're having oatmeal for breakfast then i got a can of organic diced tomatoes honestly i didn't really care about them being organic but they didn't have any of the smaller cans of diced tomatoes that i would normally buy they only had the um what was it the ones that had basil and garlic and i just wanted normal diced tomatoes so i got these um, they weren't that much more for a larger can. This was like $1.59, whereas the smaller cans of diced tomatoes are like 58 cents or something like that. So yeah, not that much more. And this is twice as much as you would get in the smaller cans. So yeah, also got some elbow macaroni because I think I'm going to do, um, when I make the taco pasta, I'm going to make it with this as opposed to spaghetti because I don't have any spaghetti. Um, and we had spaghetti last week, so I think a little bit of a nicer change would be to do elbows. So it'd be like a um, taco mac, I guess you would call it. Now making our way to the snack section. <laughs> I got some Oreos just because Corey asked for them. And then also got um, some sour cream and cheddar or cheddar and sour cream potato chips. This I think these are our favorite ones that they sell at Aldi. So I got two bags of those for the week and one box of the cheese crackers. The extra toasty are, I think, all of our favorite. And I got oatmeal cream pies for my husband. So he normally takes like either a sweet, he normally takes a sweet and a salty snack for the week. So he normally will get like oatmeal cream pies or chocolate chip cookies and then he'll get like a salty nut. Um, this week he did get 
two sweet things. So you got the sweeter peanuts, like the honey roasted, and then you got the oatmeal cream pies, but yeah. Also got some kale for my Zupa Toscana. I probably won't use all of this, but then I'll just freeze the rest. Got some cinnamon raisin bagels. Though these cinnamon raisin bagels along with this salted caramel cream cheese, literal heaven. So good. And then I got some brown basmati rice. That's my favorite brown rice of all time. And three cartons of eggs. So that is everything that I got from Aldi. And the total for all this stuff was $90 and some change. So not too bad. Now let's move on to Lidl because I, I actually stopped there on the way home because I just happened to see it and I was like, why not? So I was not able to get the mandarin oranges at Aldi because they were, um, they all were really soft and they just, they just were bad. So um, I got them at Lidl and also found my olive oil butter because that, like I said, it's the only time I can find it is when I'm at Lidl. So I went ahead and got that too because I didn't know when I would go back. Also got something new, which is this honey buffalo wing sauce. I like to keep buffalo sauce on hand all the time. And we just finished the one we had here. So I figured I would try this one instead. And then I went ahead and got more ground turkey because it was buy one, get one free. So I was like, might as well go ahead and stock up because it was only three, three thirty five, And then you get the second one free. So yeah, I think that was worth it. I went ahead and put away everything from Aldi and Lidl. And of course, from the Amazon Fresh store, I just got these two rotisserie chickens. And I'm gonna use, it smells so good. I'm gonna use one of them in the um, soup that I'm making tonight. And the other one we'll probably just eat on throughout the week. I'm telling y'all, their chickens are so good. Now let's go over Trader Joe's. I love me some Trader Joe's, y'all, that's my favorite. Um, so I got my husband some chocolate stout he likes this one his favorite one is actually his favorite beer from Trader Joe's so far is actually the simpler times lager but they didn't have it they only had the pills in there today whenever I go to the one at one loud I can always get in they usually have a, and they usually have a 12 pack of it and not just a six pack but today I went to Springfield and they didn't have um, they didn't have it so I just um, FaceTimed him and he chose this and then also needed some um, pancake syrup so I got the maple and agave blend and I think my kids like this I bought it last week and they it's mostly gone <laughs> so I'm assuming they like it also got some pumpkin butter this is something that I've never tried before but I think it's gonna be gone pretty soon so I figured I might as well go ahead and try it out and this is something else I've never tried before but um, this is the maple butter this is kind of expensive, but when you think about it, um, well, first of all, the only ingredient on this is, or in this is maple syrup, organic, organic maple syrup. Um, so I guess they just, but it's a spread. It's like really thick and creamy on the inside. So I guess what they do is boil maple syrup until it gets to that really thick consistency and it turns into a butter. So this is another option for them to use, or like for my kids to use for um, like pancakes and waffles and stuff. And it was like $5, which is about the same price as eight ounces of maple syrup. And this is nine and a half ounces. So this might be a better deal <laughs> than buying maple syrup. You just use a, like a thin coat of it. And you essentially are putting syrup on your pancakes or waffles. And then I got some of this. This is something I've never tried before either. It's called, oh, I got it upside down. It's called Calrose rice. It's like a medium grain rice. I was actually looking for sushi rice because my son wants to make sushi this week, but I couldn't find it. So I, rather than getting long grain rice, I got this medium grain rice and I figured that was better or closer to short grain rice, which sushi, sushi rice is short grain rice. So this was closer to short grain rice than long grain rice. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I got something else new, this maple streusel bread. This looked... First of all, the smell coming out of this bag is OMG. It smells so good. It's only 150 calories, so I figured this could be something for me to just have something sweet throughout the week if I don't feel like baking or whatever. So it's 150 calories, um, four grams of fat, 
26 grams of carbs, 13 grams of sugar, which is kind of high, but we know this because it has maple syrup. It has like this sugary coating on it, and then it also has three grams of protein. Let me show you guys what it looks like up close. So you can see like this maple coating on it. It looks so good. I cannot wait to have a piece of this later on this week. Um, and then I also got my favorite bacon, the unc uncured bacon. They also sell uncured bacon at Lidl and it's really good. I didn't even check, but typically at the Lidl by my house, it's like $3 for eight ounces and $4 for 12 ounces. So I normally get the 12 ounces, but this is eight ounces and this is like $3.50 at Trader Joe's. But when I, I went to Trader Joe's first and I wasn't, I didn't know I was gonna go in Lidl, so missed out on that. But um, I got some frozen strawberries. I actually got two of these. Also got some frozen spinach. I just got one of that. And then of course y'all saw me get the um, ground turkey. So I got two of these because of course I went in Trader Joe's first. So, and I didn't check this, like the sale papers this week. So I didn't know that Lidl had um, the ground turkey buy one get one half off. So that's another reason why I suggest checking the sale papers. Um, I feel like I said that in other meal planning videos, but yeah, definitely check the sale paper before you go shopping and use the Flip app to do that. So you can just type in the store, it'll show you, you type in the store um, and you put in your zip code and it will show you the sale paper for all the stores near you. So you can check all, all the Lidl, um, I don't know if you can check Trader Joe's because they normally don't have like official sales every week, but you can check all the Lidl for sure and all your other grocery stores who have a weekly circular. Also got some rice vinegar because he again he wants to make sushi this week and I was out of rice vinegar because I used it the last time I made that sushi casserole. And then my husband wanted <laughs> this dark hollow stout and I was actually really surprised that they had it at um, Trader Joe's because first of all he gets it when we go to the movies at One Loudon when we go to Alamo Draft House he always gets. He always orders this beer and it's $8 a glass, um, but he loves it. It's bourbon barrel aged Imperial Stout and the brand is Blue Mountain. The name of the beer is Dark Hollow. So um, a couple weeks ago we went to the movies. He got it. When we were leaving, he was like talking about it. And I was like, you know what? You probably can get it somewhere else besides at the movie theater. So we looked it up and they had it at Total Wine. So he bought three bottles um, a few weeks ago and he just ran out yesterday. So I was in, did not plan on going back to Total Wine today, but I was in Trader Joe's and I was like, look what they have. So they ended up having it. So I got a bottle, but at, um, at Total Wine it was like 9.50, but at Trader Joe's it's 11. So, uh, you know, is what it is. But the total at Trader Joe's was like $55. The total at Amazon Fresh was $10 and the total at Lidl was $11. So yeah, that's everything I got. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these groceries away and then I guess we'll go ahead and cook dinner because there is no way I can do a whole meal prep video today. That's gonna be a whole separate video. I'll probably film it tomorrow so you can look out for that video coming right after this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then you guys can hang out if you like and we'll go ahead and cook dinner. Oh, forgot one more thing. I got bananas <laughs> at Trader Joe's too. They didn't have any bananas at Aldi, so weird. Okay, clearly I'm tired. <laughs> I also got, this is the last thing, I promise. But I also got this French baguette from Trader Joe's because I figured we could have it with dinner tonight after I make the soup. So yeah, now let's go ahead and cook dinner. My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back on the same page? Okay, so I was gonna make the Southwest soup for dinner and put the chicken in it, the, the uh, what is it called, rotisserie chicken in it. But uh, apparently I don't have any corn. I swear it was a bag in there the other day, but poop right now it's gone. So I'm gonna do the chili mac instead, and then I'll do the Southwest soup tomorrow for a meal prep. Just wanted to give y'all an update. You're speaking my love language. My love language is your love and affection.
affection Won't you give some of it to me Oh yeah, I need you present Instead of giving me presents You're not getting off that easily I'm just gonna throw everything in because I really don't feel like waiting for all this stuff to cook separately. So I just threw in a can of chili beans and I'm gonna let everything cook together. So here's the tomatoes and green chilies. Chili beans with the seasoning and everything. Now we need to add enough liquid to cook the macaroni. Throw in some taco seasoning. I'm gonna do a pack and a half of taco seasoning. And from here, you really just need to add your macaroni. Can't really taste it since the um, since the turkey is not cooked all the way through, but I think it's, it'll be fine. The only thing it should need moving forward is maybe some salt. So I'm cool with adding the macaroni and letting everything cook together. might need to trans I will need to transfer this to a bigger pot hold on you want just enough liquid to cook the macaroni so I would kind of err on the side of caution here and just check back pretty frequently so that way you don't put too much water I'm gonna stop here and I'll check back in like five minutes and if or probably ten minutes and if it needs more liquid I'll just add more versus adding too much and then it's soupy because we want it to be a pasta dish. Okay, so it's been like maybe 12 minutes. I went ahead and added more macaroni because I figured, when I thought about it, I'm like, I put two pounds of ground turkey in here, so I might as well add more of the macaroni. And then I went ahead and added more water as well. And now it's cooking really well, so I think I'm gonna just let it soak up the rest of this liquid and then we'll see where we are. And then I'll show y'all what the, um, and of course if it needs more liquid, liquid I'll add more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste, make sure it has enough seasoning and then let it cook the rest of the way and I'll show y'all the end product. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected and I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page tonight? Can we stay? And why don't you talk to me, talk to me? Let's start a conversation. When you spend your time with me, you're speaking my love language. Talk to me, talk to me. We don't need a translation. When you spend your time with me, you're speaking. Love language. My love 